Hi, I'm Fran, and I have colon cancer stage 4, and um, I haven't blogged lately, so I just wanted to update um, the latest on my condition. Um, I had gotten my results for a CAT scan, and I have the paper in front of me. I was going to try to read it, but a lot of the words I can't pronounce. But um, there was something suspicious, but they're not sure, and my insurance wouldn't cover a PET scan, so I only got a CAT scan. So they don't know really if it... Um, could be scar tissue from the surgery that I had or it could be cancer so um, anyway I'm just going to read you this one part of my CAT scan and um, this was taken uh, May 12th 2012 and um, since then I have been on chemo which I previously told you I was taking Zolata and that um, affected my joints really badly and I finally went and got an ultrasound on my leg. My left knee was um, hurting so bad I couldn't even bend it or um, stretch or move or anything and um, they said um, a Baker cyst was behind my knee. It had formed a um, pretty big size um, cyst. So now I have to go to another doctor and find out um, what I could do about that because I'm still in pain whenever I get up or get down and bend and stuff. So um, anyway, um, I don't think I ever uh, read, well I know I didn't read this, but my um, CT abdomen, abdomen with and without contrast, CT pelvis with contrast. I'm going to just read some of this because this is the part where they found something. Um, and I'll, again, again, I, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these words and not even sure what a lot of these words mean. Um, pre four contrast, no renal or urethral calculi are identified, no bladder calculi. Following contrast administration, there are low density lesions of the right lobe of the liver measuring 3.3 times 2.8 centimeters previously measured 3.4 times 2.8 centimeters and more posteriorly currently measuring 3.8 times 4.2 centimeters previously 4.4 times 4.5 centimeters no new hepatic lesion is identified. Spleen is cholectistectomy. Wait a minute, no. Spleen is stable. Wrong line. The spleen is stable. Pancreas is unremarkable. Adrenals are unremarkable. Patient is status post. Cholecystectomy, omentectomy, and peritonectomy. There is a soft tissue density within the anterior upper abdominal wall on image 60 measuring 3.1 times 1.5 centimeters. It appears to extend to the scar. This may be post-surgical but has a so somewhat rounded appearance. Worrisome. Worrisome for a peritoneal implant within the abdominal wall. Many of the peritoneal nodules noted on prior exams have been removed. And that was the hepic surgery that I had done. <clears throat> there is an epicardial lymph node which appears stable on image 43 measuring 5 millimeters. There is some stranding within both pericolic gutters which must most likely reflects prior surgery or tiny amount of acidic fluid. Suture material is present within the sigmoid rectal region. Oral contrast has not reached the colon at the time of scanning. No gross bowel dilation, dilation is identified. Uterus appears to be present. No retroperitoneal or pelvic Adeno, ad, adenopathy. The kidneys enhance and excrete contrast normally without evidence of mass or hydronephrosis. So basically um, that was the part that um, we're not sure if it's cancer or not that 
Um, but I was on the Zolota pill and um, I had to get off of it because the neuropathy, whatever, it was causing really bad in my joints. And um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what caused my uh, Baker cyst to form on the back of my knee from that pill. You know, they try to solve one problem, but they give you another problem with these chemo pills. So I, um, I went back to an IV that I'm doing once a week. I go into the office and do it there for two and a half hours. It's an IV drip. They're giving me FU and um, Lucrevorin, and I'm doing that. Um, I, I have the exact amount. I anyway, I'm doing that once a week, and it's like a maintenance drug to just try to help keep the cancer from coming back again. And um, so that's the latest. Um, I went to Costa Rica with my two kids and. It was the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vacation and the best time I've ever had. And, um, okay, well, I just wanted to update the latest findings. Um, I'm going to go to see a doctor about my leg and see if there's something I could do with that cyst to help relieve the pain. And um, I was given another pill for cramp cramping because I still have cramps. And... Um, it's called Bella something. Um, I'll read all my medications. Pain, they're mostly all pain medications that I'm on right now. And on my next blog, I'll, I'll read to you all the different medications I'm, I'm taking at the time. All right, well, signing out. And um, I hope anybody out there that has colon cancer that any of this information that I'm sharing with you, maybe you could relate to it or um, maybe it could help you with your treatment. And because um, sharing knowledge is you know, powerful and it helps us all. And um, just leave me a comment about anything or ask me any questions that maybe I, maybe I forgot to talk about any topic or something that you might be wondering, like what I experienced through any of this that I've been through so far. But I'd um, love to hear any feedback from anyone out there. Okay, well, signing off. Bye-bye.